joining us. Samuel, take us through some of what stood out as the highlights of yesterday's trading session and what your expectations are for the trading day ahead. Um, the people, the Kenyan uh, people is of, out of the way and um, I think what has happened now is we have a lot of bargain hunters. If you look, there was a spike in uh, turn turnover and also we saw that uh, now that we are around the 3,000 mark, uh, investors are looking for those uh, stocks that have lost quite a bit over the period when the market was a bit depressed. Uh, at the same time, what we're looking at now is that uh, people will shift focus back to the market. We expect that uh, as we go into the, the, the end of the week and towards the beginning of next week, we would expect the market to start picking up some as we go into the third quarter results. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, as, of course, we saw um, the, some, the cement industry doing quite well yesterday. Um, I think Arthur River Mining and uh, Bamburi Cement did quite well yesterday. And so I think it's still, investors are still looking for those stocks that they think might give them some quick gains as we go towards the next quarter. Let's bring uh, Charles into this discussion here. I mean, Charles, looking at the Kenyan market, uh, it's, it seems to have been a market that's been in a state of limbo, especially with that Kenyan bond attracting and diverting a lot of investor interest in that direction. What's your view on the Kenyan markets at the moment and wh where we're headed, given that the Kenyan bond has now come to a close? The size of that bond issue in that kind of market was going to over always draw out liquidity from the system. But it's a quality bond, so I'm not surprised that it did. Um, the, the market, as you say, has been in limbo, and I think it's looking for some direction. Last week, they held interest rates at 7.75%, mm -hmm. which was similar to what we did here in Johannesburg, holding our interest rates here. Um, you'd expect that financial stocks then, therefore, would um, at least not um, be negative. Mm -hmm. um, uh, though some had called for a, a cut, a further cut. Growth rates are down, mm -hmm. significantly, significantly down. So um, <clears throat> my, uh, my take on that market is, is just watch. I'm interested, though, that people like emerging capital partners see growth in some of the real sectors. Yeah. They've invested in Wananchi, uh, which is this um, telecoms operation. Mm -hmm. And um, there's also been an investment by Alltech into Kenya recently, yeah. and which means that someone believes that there's underlying growth there. And I always take this real sector view. If somebody's putting in $25 million into telecoms, mm -hmm. that means they believe that fundamentally there's growth somewhere in the economy or it's going to come. Yeah. And this will eventually feed through into the market. I've been a holder of Kenyan breweries. Mm -hmm. We're holding Kenyan breweries. We didn't participate in the in the power um, uh, bond uh, market, yeah. but we are very um, keen and watching Kenya with interest. Well, certainly emerging market telecoms operators getting a lot of attention of late. I mean, the latest in South Africa with MTN and India's uh, Bharti Airtel as well. Let's uh, take it to Samuel right now. I mean, uh, we're talking about development in the real sector, uh, the real economy here. We're talking about investor interest, foreign investor interest being diverted in that direction. What are your expectations, Samuel, given that uh, for uh, the third quarter earnings reports which we are expecting in due course well I think um, most of the foreigners have been because the market has been seeing a lot of buying from foreign investors and uh, what what we see here is that uh, they seem to be using a model where they come in and buy low and the, the locals you know follow the hard effect and push <laughs> the prices up and then they sell back to the locals and uh, I think this is actually just the fact that a lot of our local investors are not very well versed in these things. But I think uh, foreigners are bargain hunting at the moment. They're buying into the market heavily. They have been for the last two or three months. And the market has been moved by foreign investment, especially in uh, EABL. We've seen a lot of uh, buying into equity, KCB and a bit on the financial sector, a cooperative bank also has been seeing quite a bit of heavy yeah. trading. So I think um, they've taken their positions. So uh, very soon uh, we should start seeing the effect on the market and we should start seeing um, prices begin to push upward, especially now that focus has come back onto the ma main uh, equities market mm -hmm. and will shift off the fixed income market for now. 
Well, a lot of investors right now, uh, those are chatting to us from Kenya, have been saying that they've taken a lot of their attention off the banking players and are now focusing on the agri space, which is quite interesting given the fact that tea producers are now benefiting off these uh, high tea prices that have come to the fore. Demand supply dynamics really taking effect there. What's your view on the agri space right now? Well, uh, most of the tea uh, producing companies uh, who, who are, of course, making very huge gains at the moment are very, very open to um, foreign currency risk. And they are also open to the risks that come with the environment, mm -hmm. the weather. I mean, so it's a very volatile market when it comes to the agri-based stocks in the country. Um, We've seen local investors are not very keen on the agricultural sector, and uh, hopefully, with time, as uh, better um, you know bet better systems are put in to make sure that there is more stability in the agricultural sector, yeah. then it will tend to pick up. However, I believe that uh, most of the people going into that sector are uh, more of a it's more of a speculative nature, and of course, they are taking advantage of the yeah. fact that. Um, these high tea prices will definitely bring huge earnings to these companies.